It's time to buckle up your seatbelts. You're in for a rough ride. Yes, I'm back with things that are aging you, keeping you looking frumpy, and dare I say it, trashy, not classy. If you're ready, let's get started. Remember, girls, if I mention something that you love and you are unwilling to give up, keep doing that. Who am I, after all? Take anything I say with a pinch of salt. But for those of us that find ourselves stuck in a star rut, this video is for you. I'm going to start with something that will be a little controversial, because why not? not showing too much skin after the age of 50, after the age of 40 for that matter. When we start to get older, often our clothes become shorter and more skimpy and I've never really understood it. We don't need to expose all of our flesh in order to be relevant and noticed. In fact, I would say the opposite is true. When we start showing more leg, more bosom, more arms, more of everything, we look like we're trying to prove something. We look like we're trying to hang on to youth. We don't need to prove anything, girls. Showing a little less flesh is actually much more sexy, much more attractive. It is much more alluring. You are building interest and intrigue and you look classy. Showing tons of flesh as we get older makes us look a little bit desperate for attention. And we don't need to look desperate, girls. We don't want to attract the wrong kind of attention. We want to look confident. We want to look assured. We want to look beautiful. Wearing things that reveal just enough skin is ultimately much more attractive and more classy than having everything on display. A lovely v-neck, for example, a wrap skirt that just shows a little bit of leg, nice sleeves. You don't need to be exposing everything. I promise you, make a slight adjustment and not only will the glances be more welcoming, but you're going to feel more confident too. Second up to dump the frump and stop us looking older than we are, are, drum roll, capris. Capri pants, girls, I have to say, you fight me on this every time I mention them and I'm going to keep mentioning them. They do you no favors. They do make you look older. They are simply not stylish. In fact, let me break it down for you. Every time I mention capri pants, somebody comes back with, but it's 85 degrees in the shade. Or I live in Florida, I can't wear anything else. Well, I'm going to ask you a question. Capri pants are skin tight. They cut you off at the widest point of your leg, your calf, and they tend not to have any shape on the bottom. No back pockets, they can be elasticated, they're pretty shapeless. Where in the living over 50 is that more comfortable than wide leg flowing trousers or pants or a beautiful bohemian long skirt? How are capri pants more cooling and more comfortable than, say, longer shorts? The answer is they're not. I'm sorry, I'll fight you for it. That is a style rut that you have invested in, probably because you own 15, 20 pairs, that's fine. But you can stop today. You can wean yourself from the capri pants and you can start wearing more stylish items of clothing that don't age you, that don't look frumpy, such as getting a regular pair of trousers and just rolling the cuff of the hem a little bit so you expose a little bit of your ankle. A little show of ankle has the appeal of showing a little bit of skin, but also they're cutting you at the slimmest part of your leg, not the widest. And I've no doubt that you're going to come at me in the comments, but they are simply not fit for purpose. They don't look cooling. They don't look stylish. They actually age you. And I'm sorry, they aren't keeping you cooler than a pair of shorts or a pair of linen wide leg trousers. Next up, heavy weighty earrings. As we get older, everything heads south, including our earlobes. I wasn't blessed with little tiny earlobes. In fact, I was blessed with spaniel earlobes. Therefore, I'm really, really choosy with what I put in my ears. Anything too heavy, it makes my ears look stretched and old. And as we get older, heavy earrings stretches our little piercing hole and makes them look awful. Ditch the heavy earrings. There are so many things that you could wear instead. Little smaller hoops with tiny dangles, studs. We also have little backs that help with heavy earrings, stopping them looking like they're dragging you down. Anything that looks too clumpy, that is pulling down your ears, is going to make you look older and less stylish. Next up, Disney character sweatshirts, hoodies, fleeces. Please stop. Please stop wearing these kind of garments. They're not clothes. They are literally advertising material for the big brands. Anything that has a big brand logo on the front or the back, 
it has to stop. Mickey, that is pulling through the front and you can see is behind on your back, stop it. You don't need to wear that. There are so many other things that you can wear. Keep the pictures as your memento from Disney. Simply keep Disney off your back. Simply put, anything with a logo or a character has no place on your body unless you're being paid for it. Now, I wore my fair share of heels when I was much younger. Now, not so much. Great big, massive stiletto heels or those great big platforms make us look dated. After a certain age, these great big clumpy heels look a little bit trashy, not stylish. And by that, I'm not talking Victoria Beckham heels. I'm talking those great big clumpy club wear shoes that literally look a little bit like we're pole dancing when we're in the supermarket. They are not stylish. They don't look great on women over 50 unless you're in a certain environment, but they are certainly not something that I would advise anybody to wear as a stylish form of footwear. It's okay to wear a heel, but if our heels are so huge that we're tottering around and it makes our calf muscles look huge, that isn't a great look. When choosing footwear, we want it to be appropriate. We want to make ourselves feel stylish and classy. I have to say my favorite type of footwear is footwear that elongates the leg. A little bit of a heel is fabulous. I always opt for wedges. I really like a wedge heel. It looks fabulous. I feel confident and self-assured in them. If I'm wearing shorter skirts, I'm never going to be wearing a high heel. That's a whole different story. And it brings me to my next category. Short mini skirts and daisy jukes. Girls, they have to go after the age of 50. Wearing skirts that you can just about see your panty line is to me a no-no after the age of 50. And I am not a prude. I am not somebody that likes to cover myself up. I'm talking about looking classy. Now, personally, I don't want to show off the upper tops of my thighs unless I'm in a swimming costume, in the swimming pool, or at the beach. I just find that this is a super strange look. It seems to go hand in hand with the exposing so much flesh and the super high heels. It is, to me, smacking of desperation, of wanting to prove ourselves still young enough to wear a garment that is so short that you need almost an X-rated certificate. Daisy Dukes, for example, that are so short, those butt shorts that see the bottom of your cheeks hanging out, First of all, they are not attractive on women over 50. They do attract the wrong kind of attention and they aren't very practical. You sit down and your bum sticks to anything that you've sat on, any kind of leather seat or pleather or plastic, you are stuck and imprinted. I think that we need to ditch super short skirts and daisy jukes. So on the opposite end of the scale of exposing too much skin is literally covering ourselves up, camouflaging our bodies with layers and layers of fabric, especially round the neck. Anything that says roll neck, high neck or cow neck, get rid of. It looks so frumpy, girls. I'm not saying that you can't have a little round neck, but a roll neck, a cow neck and a high neck is doing you no favors over the age of 50. We all struggle with our neck as we get older, myself included. However, having a cow neck or anything that is emphasizing that area, it's not camouflaging, it's drawing attention. What I suggest you do is opt for scoop neck tops, square neck, or even a V neck like I'm wearing, which is so much more attractive than being completely trussed up like something from the 17th century. You don't need to wear clothes that are so frumpy you definitely can here expose a little more flesh. Next up are elasticated waistbands. Now hear me out. I'm not saying ditch elasticated waistbands. I'm saying elasticated waistbands pulled high over our tops or t-shirts where they look really unsightly. They don't look stylish. We haven't tried to disguise the elasticated waistband. Now I do wear elasticated waistbands in the summer loads. I love my wide leg trousers, my skirts, they've got elasticated waistbands. What I do, a little style tip, is I blouse over the top that I'm wearing. I disguise it. I just pull over the t-shirt, maybe a half tuck, making it look more stylish. Having elasticated waistbands are super comfy. I love them. But what I don't want to do is have the waistband being the major focus around my middle. It makes me look older. It makes me look old fashioned, unsightly and unstylish and not very well put together. Style your waistbands with a t-shirt or a top that you can just gently blouse over so it disguises the elasticated waist. 
top tip. It's so easy to do and it will transform your outfit. My final tip this week is to stop wearing clothes that no longer fit you or suit your body shape. I know those clothes that you wore in the 80s and 90s that you love and you still feel you rock, you don't. It's time to get rid of them. Things that don't fit you properly anymore, things that are either too tight or too baggy, get rid of them. They aren't doing you any favors. It's time to move on, girls. What I would suggest is really do a wardrobe audit. I'm talking about the type of clothes that we squeeze ourselves into and then at the end of the day or the night, we can't wait to rip off. Get rid of them. They're just not worth it. You're going to look less stylish if you've got bulges and things hanging out, if you're having to breathe in. Make sure you've got well-fitting clothes. That's all you need to feel stylish and more confident. Things that worked 10 years ago that aren't working anymore are making you look less stylish. So that's it, girls. Those are my top tips to help you look less frumpy and more modern, younger and relevant for today. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, perhaps you'll give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe. It's free. And I bring videos every single Wednesday and Saturday to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time. Bye for now.